cooking Boca. I'm Emily from the Boca Voice, and today we are at Fries to Caviar here in Boca Raton. We'll be meeting with Richard Mitchell, partner here at the restaurant, finding out more about this unique dining experience and everything they have on the menu from fries to caviar. Let's check it out. I am joined by Richard, partner here at the restaurant. Thank you so much for having us today. Sure, thank you for coming. So, Fries to Caviar is such an incredibly intriguing and creative name. Can you tell me more about how long you've been here and how you came up with that name? And just a few years ago, the opportunity came for us to open this place, Fries to Caviar. We just wanted to make a really nice, authentic neighborhood kind of a place where you can get a burger and fries or you can have fine caviar, a little bit of everything in between. So for someone coming to Fries to Caviar for their first time, do you have any signature dishes that you would recommend? Yeah, there's a lot of really great things. We make all things in-house from scratch. I would definitely suggest some of our local catches. We work with Captain locally out of Delray Beach, Captain Clay Brand, and he brings us fresh fish each day, straight out of the ocean, caught this morning, served for dinner tonight. So I had heard that Chef Chad and Chef Jimmy had prepared some of your signature dishes for us. Do you mind walking me through them? Sure, absolutely. We're going to eat good. This is uh, a handmade burrata cheese served over a little of uh, locally grown arugula. So I believe we use a farm out in West Point to grow the arugula. This is such an incredibly beautiful burrata salad. I've never seen one before with figs and strawberries and prosciutto and arugula. This is incredibly creative. That is so incredibly rich and creamy. What's amazing is that there's so many different flavors going on between the fig, the strawberry, the burrata, but it all comes together as one song. It's so amazing, really. So your catch of the day is one of your most important signature dishes. Could you tell me more about this dish? Sure, this is our pan-seared local catch. Today he's brought us some beautiful yellowtail snapper here. It's served with a sweet corn beurre blanc. A little fresh tarragon served over julienne zucchini. There is a perfect sear on the outside that you can even hear when I first broke into the filet. And the inside is so juicy and flavorful that it's cooked perfectly. And I love the seasonal veggies underneath. They pair so well. That is really an amazing dish. So this dish is incredibly colorful and vibrant and I really love that all your catches are locally caught. The ocean here is a, a treasure for us, and we, um, we're really focused on serving beautiful local fish each day. So I know right now you open daily at 3.30 p.m., but I did hear that you're gonna start serving lunch. Can you tell me more about that? Sure, in mid-November, we're gonna start um, doing lunch service. We're gonna do that five days a week from Tuesday through Saturday, from 11.30 to probably 3.30. So I heard you have happy hour every day from 3.30 to 7, and I know it includes some drink specials like wines, beers, sangria, but can you tell me about some of the dishes I could find on the happy hour menu? The chef likes to change them around from time to time. Right now we have some beautiful things up there like a nice Thai curry mussels, we've got a nice uh, avocado and crab dish that's very good. A lot of different things, always changing, very fresh. Besides the beautiful food, the atmosphere here is just as stunning. With handmade wood tables, walls lined with art by local artists, and gorgeous outdoor seating, Fries to Caviar is the perfect spot for a family dinner or date night.